Hi everyone and what a week it's been in the model railway world. On Monday we had that shock announcement from Hattons that after 77 years it's closing up shop, closing its doors. On Tuesday we had the product launch from Hornby and then yesterday we had that sad news from Worley that as of today it's no longer going to be operating its exhibition at the NEC after 30 years in the business. In a statement yesterday, the club said that members have considered the present market conditions and their ability to deliver what is a complex undertaking and have concluded that the time has come to cease holding an exhibition at the NEC for the foreseeable future. Nigel Smith, the current exhibition manager, says that although this will be disappointing to many people, including visitors and exhibitors alike, we are an aging membership and we have to be realistic about what we can deliver in the future. Alan Turner, the interim club chairman, adds that Worley Club is in very good health and has plenty of exciting plans for the future. Steve Flint, former railway model editor and member of Worley, says that the hobby is alive and well at grassroots level, but the commercial boom period of recent decades has probably run its course, having been slowed by the effects of the pandemic, the cost of living crisis and the ever increasing age of enthusiasts. So what do we make of this statement? Well, looking at the key factors in play, obviously businesses and charities still reeling from the after effects of the pandemic. There's also the recent cost of living crisis, which has put a dent in people's spending power. And then lastly, there's this key factor, which I've seen in recent weeks and months, the ever increasing age of the model railway demographic. Our fans are getting older, they say, and this is making the market change. The market's demands are changing and people like Worley, charities like Worley and other businesses are looking at this and wondering what their next steps might be. For my subscribers overseas, just to explain, Worley is a bit of a national institution. It's a destination on the calendar for all model railway fans. And the question people ask, are you going to Worley this year? Are you going to exhibit? Are you going as a visitor? And it's a real high point in the calendar. So Worley is going to be sorely, sorely missed. Really quite sad news there. Now, certainly when I was at Worley last year, there was no indication at the time that Worley was going to make this announcement. Everything looked positively rosy. The crowds were there, the exhibitors were there, the trade stands were there. It all looked very, very positive. In fact, in recent weeks, I've been speaking to people who were potentially going to exhibit at Worley and were looking ahead to not just this year, but next year. So this comes as a little bit of a surprise, but what I'm seeing in the comments, what I'm seeing on the forums is that there's a great deal of affection for Worley. People really respect and are grateful that this small club, what started off as a small club, were able to achieve this incredible event and really raise the profile and put the spotlight on the model railway hobby. Of course, the announcement from Hattons on Monday was something of a shock. But could it be in the days afterwards that it's actually prompting people in the industry to take pause and ask themselves the same question? Is it better to go out now on a high rather than wait as the years go by as the demographic changes and business changes? So Hatton's definitely what we might be seeing over the next few weeks and months is something of a domino effect. Usually in my business, when I'm reporting on business news, I often report on businesses going bust. They obviously haven't made that decision soon enough. So this is a very wise decision on Hatton's part. Could it be that Worley are making the same decision themselves? The last thing to bear in mind is, of course, that Worley is run by a team of volunteers. And Steve Flint says in this statement, the tick of the demographic time bomb is getting more prominent as the next generation of younger enthusiasts required to take over the staffing and running of such prestigious events does not seem to be materializing. It's time for Worley Model Railway Club to step aside with pride, having had the privilege of promoting this great creative hobby to the nation at the NEC for over 30 years. The Worley exhibition is started as a group of people passionate about model railways, a small club who wanted to share the hobby and share their passion for the hobby. It's grown into such a great event, but after 30 years, and as Steve said, the younger generation isn't stepping up to take over the reins. Whether that will change over the next few years remains to be seen. But for now, the NEC event won't be happening this year or for the foreseeable future. So I guess all that remains to be said is thank you, Wally. Thank you to the club for organizing such a great event and you will be missed.
If you like this video, please do like, share, and of course subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of all my future videos. I'm Dawn Quest, and this is Model Railway Quest.